Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a very hard cataract. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at mid limbus. And now a side port on the right side of the main incision and another side port on the left side of the main incision. These side ports are about two and a half to three clock hours away from the main incision. Now my aim is to stain the anterior capsule with tripant blue dye. An air bubble is injected. Beneath this air bubble, tripant blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. And without much delay, uh, this is a bit of adrenaline to help maintain dilatation of the people. And now the dye is washed out and see within a very short time there is nice staining of the anterior capsule. So my idea is if we stain the anterior capsule underneath an air bubble the staining is very quick. Now the antechamber has been filled up with visco and it has been applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. And now I'm going to do capsulorexis and it is going to be a large rexis because you can see that the cataract is very hard. Nuclear sclerosis is at least in grade 5. And now rexis is being done with the help of these uterata forceps. Here at 6 o'clock, the rexis tended to go to periphery, but I could retrieve it in time. It is good. It has become a large rexis. You can say oval rexis, large oval rexis. And now, hydro dissection. This is 27 Gauss cannula, and BSS is being used for hydro dissection. Hydro delineation is not attempted in such hard cataracts. It is, it will never happen. And now again, visco. This is two percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now I'm going to try my technique, which I call a submarine job. But the submarine job didn't didn't work in this case the cataract is so hard and there was a such a stubborn posterior plate leathery posterior plate that I could not separate the pieces here it is I have exposed the teeth a bit more so that I can go inside the nucleus and here it is the tip is traveling through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and this is a nice crack now I rotate on 180 degree remove this endonucleus and try to separate the two heminuclei but there is a leathery band joining these two heminuclei and this is the larger heminucleus I am trying to divide this into three pieces this is a nice crack and on this large piece this is another good crack but none of the piece none of the pieces is free now as i try to rotate the nuclear mass it is giving me some resistance it is not rotating freely and whenever it is not rotating freely i come out there is something may be wrong so inject visco and 
with the help of these two hooks two Sinsky hooks I'm going to see what is happening but here it is the two heminuclei has got separated the leathery band joining the two heminuclei has given in and the two heminuclei are free now the smaller heminucleus has not been divided into pieces I'm going to see if I can divide this smaller heminucleus into two free fragments so here it is I get a nice crack and yes I have got two free fragments so I emulsify these two fragments and later on I will see what I can do with the other bigger heminucleus this is the other free nuclear fragment let me tell you these settings ultrasonic energy being used is 80% in continuous mode though it is in continuous mode I am working at a deeper plane never above the iris plane and I'm applying energy only when it is necessary now I have some plan I want to do some manual work I want to see if I can separate these pieces manually so inject visco behind this large nuclear mass this is a hook blunt hook it has gone behind the pieces and see this stubborn band it is not it refused to be torn so I have to strike it hard so now is the surgical strike with ultrasonic energy so this is the real surgical strike with high ultrasound sonic energy of about 80 percent I strike it right here on the band joining these fragments and it has no other option it has to give in and the pieces are free so whenever you find this you just tend it up inject visco behind the pieces and do a surgical strike with high ultrasonic energy on the leathery band joining the fragments and now when this small piece is there I change the setting at this time the ultrasonic energy as well as the other pra parameters are low during emulsification of this last bit of nucleus vacuum was only 250 and flow rate was 25 uh, previously it was 40 ml per minute flow rate and 450 millimeter mercury vacuum now I'm going to do cortical cleanup with bimanual irrigation aspiration first I use the irrigating proof to hydrate the cortical matter so that it can come out easily and now here it is this is changing hands now aspirating probe goes through the right side port and the cortex from one o'clock to three o'clock are removed yes cortical cleanup has been very nice little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule and now a uh, hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag yes the lens has gone into the capsular bag the haptics have taken 
their shelter at the equator of the capsular bag. And now again some irrigation so that whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge may come out. The lens is nicely centered. And now this is a bit of moxifloxacin and then the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab incisions. The main aim of showing this video is the surgical strike with ultrasonic energy. To break the joining band. So remember this, whenever you face this situation you may strike the band in this way and make the fragments free. This is final formation of the anterior chamber and then the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.